and welcome to Game Babble. I'm your host, Jell. <laughs> High Voltage Software. When they started, they began as a massive shovelware company producing crap from white men can't jump on the Atari Jaguar to the Family Guy game on PS2. However, with the release of the Wii, they decided, wow, everyone else is doing even worse than we did. So well, let's try something new and actually put... I don't know, effort into a game. So they produced an actually kick-ass graphics engine and created the Conduit as their first attempt at actually trying. I can't comment on it as I honestly haven't played it, but it's received some pretty good reviews. Their second attempt was to be Gladiator AD, a fighter with motion plus support for the Nintendo Wii. However, as time went on, they realized, wow, the Motion Plus completely changes how the Wiimote works. There's no way we could support both the normal controls and the Motion Plus. It's just not possible. And, you know, Gladiators, they don't make particularly good characters. We can't make a varied roster of them. Oh, man, I'm out of ideas. Uh, how about a Minotaur, like a Medusa? Or, hey, you know what? Let's take that Leonidas-looking guy and turn him to stone, call him Jupiter. And that one chick there, yeah, her? Give her a cat head. We'll call her Bast. And eventually, Gladiator AD changed into Tournament of Legends for the Nintendo Wii, which looked like some kind of bizarre bastard child of Soul Calibur and War Gods. I didn't have a lot of faith in this thing before, but then they decided to drop the price to a legendary value of 30 bucks. Well, now I have even less faith in it, but now I can't ignore it. Good lord, I gotta see how this turns out. I gotta give them credit on that lower price point, too. I mean, if you know your game isn't gonna be able to compete with the big boys, then you may as well admit it. I mean, you don't have to be great to be fun. And besides, this is the Wii. I've actually seen a lot of games drop from their full $50 price tag to 20 bucks within a single month. Seriously. So you may as well start low and use it as a marketing tool. You'll probably make more money that way. Of course, then again, this all goes out the shitter when you remember that the single most half-assed game on Wii not only sells at full price, but is the best-selling game on Wii, too. Uh, let, let's, let's change this up. Uh, hey, Tournament of Legends, wasn't I supposed to be reviewing that? So anyway, the best way to describe Tournament of Legends is what happens when a company that knows fuck all about making fighters tries really, really hard. As such, the presentation is phenomenal. The graphics look great, and there's a lot of interesting ideas, like the ability to mix and match weapons between characters, allowing you to switch up your normals and your specials in different ways. But at the same time, there's a bunch of really fucking stupid ideas, the dumbest of which being the QTE monsters. Yeah, every stage has some kind of stage guardian, and at random, somewhere in the middle of a fight, it'll stop everything, so that way you can dodge a giant enemy crab or some shit. What the hell was that about? Who thought that was a good idea? Oy vey. As you might have guessed, with a game designed around the Wiimote and Nunchuck, the game itself is pretty basic. Horizontal Shake, Vertical Shake, and Nunchuck Shake make up your basic attacks. You can hold B and do these motions to perform a strong attack. And as you fight, you build up a meter at the bottom of the screen, which is used for specials, which are performed by pressing A in a direction. This is pretty much the gist of the combat. You can press B in a direction to dodge, or you can block at just the right time to do a critical block, essentially Soul Calibur's guard impact. But as you can see, the combat is pretty damn basic. Don't expect any sort of crazy over-the-top combos here. In fact, this is a game where a four-hit combo is considered epic. No, seriously. Epic combo. Then again, the combo counter doesn't even work right. Not counting specials towards the combo count, but counting blocked normal attacks. If I mention these guys have never made a fighter before in their lives, just make it sure. You've probably also noticed the back view camera, obviously meant to make the Wiimote and Nunchuck controls more comfortable, but you've probably also noticed that this would make things really sucky for the other player. As such, they have it set up where if you do a strong attack, you steal the camera from your opponent. 
which is ridiculous, but it works better than it sounds. So as you can see, they made a lot of accommodations to make this work with the Wiimote and Nunchuck controls. Which makes it really sad that despite this fact, the Wiimote and Nunchuck is still incredibly awkward and uncomfortable to use with such a game. This is no fault of high voltage softwares, but rather with the controller. Luckily, there is classic controller support, and the game gets much better with it. Es especially because I actually have difficulty with the QTEs when using the Wiimote and Nunchuck, but I can nail them every time with the classic controller. So yeah, a good fighter, Tournament of Legends, ain't. But it ventures into so bad it's good territory with the characters. Good lord, the announcer plays this whole thing completely straight, dead serious, talking about the threads of fate and the fabric of life. I am Nona, mistress of the fates. These threads form the tapestry of life, an unusual and ever-changing fabric. And then you have characters like this. Congratulations, you're the next to fall before the hero of Rome. Jupiter says be afraid. Be very afraid. Are you afraid yet? <laughs> what the shit? Whoever stands in my way will soon fall at my feet. Holy shit. Are you a cyclo? Did you take acting lessons from Turl? That was some fucking hellified emoting. Live and let live. Being good to one another. Don't you belong in fucking Moo Mesa. Yes! Look upon us and despair! Yeah! But my favorite would have to be Kara the Valkyrie, who likes combat a little bit too much. Alright, let's make this a fair, long, drawn-out fight. While everyone else basically gets screwed over in their ending, for Kara, you know what she does? She decides, oh, I've kicked everyone on Earth's ass, I'm going to fly into outer space and fight aliens! No, no, seriously! She left Earth behind and sought new foes to face. Valkyries in space fighting aliens. Yeah, uh, high voltage software? This bitch needs a fucking spin-off, seriously. That said, Tournament of Legends does have one unusual strength. Versus mode. I know versus mode is where every fighter shines, but it's especially true of Tournament of Legends. You see, while it is shallow, it's not a button masher, not by any stretch of the imagination. If you tried, due to its combo limitations and whatnot, you'd leave yourself wide fucking open, and even a damn two-year-old could exploit that shit. What's more, it's so simplistic that watch the tutorial video, fight about three computer opponents, congratulations, you're a high-level Tournament of Legends player. And yet there's still enough techniques here that there's always something you can do. That said, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is hardly a pick-up-and-play fighter, considering the classic control scheme uses every single fucking button on the controller. There's still some really dumb design decisions, and the specials are often kinda limited in their usage, so you'll find yourself relying on just one or two moves for a lot of the match. Still, I found it to be rather enjoyable in versus mode. Overall, I give it a 2.7 out of 5. A good fighter, it fucking ain't. But, it is actually pretty fun. So, is it worth 30 bucks? Well, I gotta be honest, when I first played this game, I thought it was fucking terrible, but it strangely grew on me. So let me ask you this. Do you like cheese? Are you willing to go into this not expecting an actually good fighter? And do you have a friend who'd also play such a game? If so, then yeah. But it's all up to you, obviously. Anyway, 